Dakota with First Gear Media. We're back here for another car review, and today we're in a classic finally, so I'm super excited to tell you all about it. So, we're currently driving, as you saw, this is a 1977 Chevrolet Corvette, and this has the 5.7 liter 350 small block engine and the three speed automatic, so it's a good little classic cruiser. I'm gonna take it out on the road here and we'll see how it does. Okay, guys, and then we're gonna get on the straightaway here. So, compared to like modern horsepower and everything like that, it's not the fastest, obviously, but for back in the day, it was pretty quick. And it still has the classic Corvette V8 under the hood, which everybody loves. And this this car kind of has like a more sentimental value to me because, or I guess connection because my dad used to actually have a 74 Corvette in uh, cherry red, which I love. But so this is why I really wanted to jump on the chance to review this car. And this one is uh, actually a all original 46,000 mile example car, which is really good. And there were some that came with the uh, manual transmission. I think it was a four-speed manual, if I'm uh, not mistaken. But the three-speed automatic is a nice little cruiser car. And honestly, for a 77, it's extremely comfortable. Like these, uh, It has the leather interior, and it has air conditioning from the factory too, which is really nice. All the cool gauges work, and it's really just a nice little cruiser car. So, I mean, it's just it's a lot of fun too. It's not, like I said, not the fastest, but it's just more fun. Another thing that you're going to notice like about these classic Corvettes, the C3 and everything, is that they're a really big car, which, you know, from the classics, it's kind of like a, it was a big thing back then. So the nice thing about this, though, is that it has the modern, or not, sorry, I'm modern, the, uh, the really nice body lines. And I personally really favor this body design over like the C4 and things like that. Uh, right up until like I think this looks a lot better than the C4 and some C5s but the C6 obviously looks a lot better and C2 and everything but it's just this is one of the nicer like classics of the Corvette era and with a little duck tail I think it comes along really well some of them I think you, have, you obviously have the ZR1 which is extremely rare to find but it's still a fun car and then you also have the official pace car I'm sorry guys I'm gonna change lanes Okay, so like I said, you have some different trim levels, and then another thing too is that you have the option of T-tops, and then you also have a uh, very big interior, like I'm a short guy, and I have a ton of room, which is kind of unheard of for Corvettes, because you know, and then kind of modern ones, you're kind of squished in there, but it's more performance oriented, I get it, so that's one thing, and then let's see what else. This car is also made out of fiberglass with all the, it's a very lightweight car and you can feel it because you just feel really connected to the road. And it is a classic cruiser, but like I said, you just, you feel planted and you feel like you can just take, it's a little nimble for its age. And you know, the V8 and the three speed is fun. And then obviously if you get the manual transmission, it's a lot more fun. Okay, so that was a lot of positives about the Corvette, but a few other things is that, so one thing that I have noticed is that you hear a lot of wind noise in the car, which is fine, but you know, compared to modern cars, it's a little more windy, but it's still nice for a cruise. It's just also about to rain, so that's another thing to take into account, but uh, it's very comfortable still. And that's honestly all I really have about the downside. I mean, it drives smooth and everything like that. Um, obviously horsepower, but First age, it was a really good car with power. Now, uh, let's see. I think one thing that people would like to buy this car for is, I guess, bonding. So, for a little history, when me and my dad were building his Corvette, there was a parts catalog for everything you needed. We actually built that car, painted it, did everything to it, and it was really affordable, which is kind of like, you know, you can bond over like with the classic Fox bodies and everything like that because they're cheap and they're fun to work on, easy to work on, which is nice about this. So I'd say, you know, you want a classic cruiser car, you should look for a C3 Corvette, obviously, because it goes with the Fox body and everything like that. It's not the same era, obviously. It's just in pricing and then just in fun, easy to find parts. It's a good, good car and a good platform for the other cruising or you can do an autocross or if you want to be out there and crazy but awesome you can do an LS swap into this and make it a more modern power plant which would be 
insane if I could see somebody do that, but that'd be a lot of fun. So thinking of wrapping everything up here, like I said, this is a really cool example. And I'm really glad I got the chance to drive it. Uh, like I said, it's a 46,000 mile car, V8, automatic, and it's got the black interior, which is really, really nice. Because, I don't know, black interiors always seem like they look coolest to me. And another thing before we go to visibility in this car is actually extremely good. You'd be surprised because it seems like it's low slung and all that, but the eight pillars in the front are very small. Obviously, they weren't as big back then. And then in the back, they're in a way to where you can see out of the side and the back window at the same time, which is really helpful. And you can just... It's, it's, I'd say this is a classic you could daily, honestly, because it's got AC and everything like that, and they're really affordable, V8, I mean, what more could you want, honestly? Alright guys, so that's pretty much all I have on this Corvette, I'm super glad again I got the chance to drive it, so I want to thank you all so much for watching, if you want to support us, please go ahead and consider liking and subscribing, we're upgrading our equipment as we go, we're trying to get as many car views as we can, and as you know, the Integra is going to go under surgery to go undergo a motor swap very soon, so I'll see you all next week.